Hello, welcome to a new video. Uh, it's been about two years since I've actually made a new video on this channel, so I thought it would be <clears throat> thought it would be nice to just go back and talk uh, about a few of my past projects. Some of these have been homework. Uh, some of them have been final projects, uh, j just in school. Uh, okay. So, anyways, like the title suggests, this is a word ladder solver. I wrote this about a year and a half ago as a final project for a C plus plus data structures class. So obviously I wrote this in C++, uh, I'm using the Xcode environment, and uh, yeah, so if you don't know what a word ladder is, it's a, it's a really simple uh, word puzzle game. Um, so you ha you're given, you take two words, one's your target, one's your start. You want to go from the, tar go from the start word to the target word by changing only one letter at a time and they have to be real um, dictionary words so what this program does is it's going to you're going to input two words the start and target and the solver is going to solve the latter it's going to in it using a dictionary of uh, a couple thousand words they're all four letter words and it's going to give you the shortest um, the shortest ladder for the word ladder okay so the first off you have I have the main uh, file this it all it does is just declare a word ladder object and you run the start I have in the word ladder class I have a start that just runs the whole procedure I have two classes. I have the word ladder class and I have the graph class. Graph is the data structure that I'm I'm using in the solver. Okay. So in the word ladder <coughs> in the constructor, I'm loading a text document that contains the uh, the dictionary of words, uh, what I'm showing you right here, and it's just going to load that file, and so it can have access to it when it's reading and looking for words. And in the start, this is what the main, uh, <clears throat> this is what it's called inside the main. The <clears throat> the first procedure, the first step is to get the words from the user. Then the second step is to check the words. This is kind of a processing uh, function. And it's going to take the words, it's going to put them all into uppercase so they have the same ASCII uh, character number. And it's going to check to make sure they're all four letters and, you know, just check the words, make sure that you're inputting the correct, you're inputting legitimate um, words. Also, another thing it does is it even it checks to make sure the words are actually inside the dictionary. So it's, in a way, it's actually checking to see if these are real words that you're inputting in, into the program. If it not, if they're not, then it's going to send the user an error and then restart the program. Then it's going to load the dictionary. Uh, that's the load words function, and then finally it's going to solve the uh, ladder. So I'm going to start with the get words. So it just, this is, you know, it just prompts the user just to enter two words, and, um, it sends the words, it's going to make sure they're all four letters long, and then it's going to change them to uppercase using this for loop. And then the next step is it's going to check the words. It's going to make sure the in using this while loop, it's going to access the words file. This is the dictionary that it, that was opened up in the constructor file. And it's going to check to make sure the both words are actually in the dictionary. If it's not, then it's going to give the user an error and say provide this prompt, you know, find words found inside the dictionary. 
Next is going to call the load words. Uh, I'm not going to go into too much detail about what's going on here. Um, basically, what it wants, what I figured was a good way to go about like trying to find the fastest way to solve this was to see how many letters are in common between the first or between the target and start word and um, so what it's going to do is it's the, the load words is going to check it's going to see if the first, second, third, or fourth letters are in common if they are <clears throat> then that's a benefit to the solver because then you're say uh, you're going from lamb to fame right so it has the a and m in common and they're in the same spot inside the four letter word and this actually I may talk about it later but it actually it can make the solver faster when you have these two letters in common because what it does is it doesn't actually load the entire dictionary it only loads all the words that contain uh, A as their second letter and M as their third letter. So basically that's what the load words uh, function is going to do. Then finally it's going to go to the solver and that's a uh, it's going to create a graph that contains the dictionary and then it's going to call a function inside graph class called shortest path and it's going to pass in your start word and then your target word and then it's going to return a list that contains the shortest path found using the start and uh, target words and then it's just going to output it and I also have a begin counter and a start a stop counter. Uh, this is just to kind of time how long it would take, how long it's taking to solve this particular ladder. And then it just outputs how long it took. And okay, so inside the graph class, so inside word ladder, when it created graph it called the only function that it called inside graph was shortest path and this uses a another function called um, breadth first search which if you know anything about graph theory this is there's uh, there's breadth first search and then there's also depth first search uh, there may be more but these were the two that I learned in uh, my data structures class and I decided that breadth first search was probably the, the optimal search method using uh, a graph data structure uh, for this particular uh, application. And I'm not going to go into too much detail, but basically what it does is it takes the start word, and then what it does is it accesses the dictionary and it looks for all the words that vary by only one letter. So that's <clears throat> so then what it's going to do is it's going to then find it's going to take all those words that varied from the start word by one letter and it's going to find all the words that vary from those words by one letter. And it's going to keep doing that until it finds the target word and then it's going to trace back from the target word to the to the start word and that is the shortest path and that's what the user will see okay so if i run the word letter um so it asks for a start word for example i'm going to use love and a target word view and then it's going to solve the word letter and this is what it returns 
and it took about 4.2 seconds to solve that. And what I was talking about earlier where it looks to see if two letters are in, or if two or more letters are in common between the start and target word. Uh, for example, love and view, they have no letter in common that's in the same location. But if, for example, if I run it again and I use file and help, they both have the L, third L in common, it is a lot faster because it doesn't have to look it doesn't have to search the entire dictionary when it's solving the word ladder. It only looks for words that have L as their third letter. And that took 0 0.023 seconds. Okay, so that's basically it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'd be happy to answer them. And yeah, alright, thank you for watching.